Hello everyone, uh, I'm back and yeah, I don't know if this is going to be the start of a new video or not, one part, because uh, yeah, if it is, then I don't know. <laughs> so now the next mini game that we're going to do is, well it's not really a mini game, but it's basically a thing where you get another heart piece and it has to do with this keep mask and uh, yeah, what we're going to have to do is take it on and just kill all of it, kill all the grass. Um, oh, there we go, and this little creature will pop out. Seriously, it looks so cute. Look at that. It looks so cute. But, uh, yeah, it looks so cute. Anyways, <laughs> yo, hello, child. If you are attempting to fool me, it, it is impossible. We are kittens. Can, we can, can rec recognize our own by the sheen of our tails. But you're not a good child. Let me put you to, in, to a test. That's me this. Pick one of these choices. What is the name given to you by Romani, the girl at the ranch? Well, that's easy. Grasshopper. Because he, she didn't choose my name to be Cricket, nor Butterfly, but Grasshopper. Yay! That's me this. Pick one of these tr three choices. The cow is at a which race? That's easy. Not a Deku Scrum, not a Goron, but a Zora. That's me this. Pick one of these choices. What is the name of Cocktail's in? Stockpot in. What is the so name of the song that Romani, the girl at the ranch, teaches you? Well, that's easy. There's no song called Song of the Field, but she doesn't teach me Song of Healing. She teaches me Eponis Song. That's me. Which one she choices? Where does Kremia, manager of Romani Ranch, try to deliver her milk? Uh, milk bar. Yes! Good very good to this prize. And we got a heart piece! Let us meet again, child. Do you heal? Wow, I got that on my first try. That was just amazing. Just simply amazing. See, yeah, now we have, like, another one heart piece gotten. Well, that was just awesome. So awesome. Now, I don't know what other heart piece I'm gonna get, so I'm just gonna, um... Uh, Search on what other heart piece I can get now. So, wow, this is going awesome so far. Yeah, I already got that one. So, yeah, I'm going to cut yet again. So, see you later, guys. I'll be right back. Yes. Alright, so now the next heart piece is that a heart piece that I could have gotten right at the beginning of the game. So, all I have to do is just go around here and find this little hole where the, where the butterflies are. And you see this pea hat that we have to attack. Yes, we have to kill a pea hat. It, you may think this will be hard, but trust me. It, you're, su you're supposed to do this way back when you had the normal sword in the beginning. But now that we have the gilded sword, this will take any time at all. I can't believe I didn't get this uh, like right at the beginning of the game. Oh, now we have this now. Oh, man. I should have gotten this right at the beginning of the game, but... I didn't know this was here until now. And yes, another piece of heart. Excelente. And I was really worried, worried that there's this bird like fl flying like around this area. And if he attacks you, he will literally steal your sword. Doesn't matter what type of sword you have. He will literally steal your sword. And I don't know if you can get it back from him. So try not to let him do that. So now, yeah. That didn't take really, really long at all, so I am going to cut again and figure out what harpies I'm going to get next, since I only have two now, so I'll meet you guys back. <laughs> okay, hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the start of a new video, or a new part, so yeah, and uh... Now I'm actually going to get the harpies from getting 5,000 rupees to the rupee guy at uh, North or South Park Town, I don't know. So yeah, what I do is I basically just get like 100 rupees by uh, going over here. And I've done this like literally a whole bunch of times. I mean like seriously. Like really. 
and I have like 500, 500 more, I'm gonna get the heart piece, definitely. So I just wanted to show you what I do for uh, getting all 5,000 rupees. And there is your 200, 100 rupees. And the other 100 rupees that I get is over here. By telling this guy the code. There we go. One, two, four, three, five. Some of you might be thinking I might remember it, remember remember that all the way from my the beginning of my let's play, but uh, I by the help of the bomber's notebook I remember the code. Huh. Okay, so now we're I, I believe if you keep pressing B you get to swim you can swim pa faster, but I don't know, that just might be my imagination. But there's uh, another one hundred rupees right here. By bombing, and I don't know how I got hit, hit by hurt by that. And there's uh, another 100 rupees in this treasure chest. And now the other way that I do um, get like the rest of the 300 rupees is by killing a whole bunch of Dodongos off by the um, Snowhead area, well, into Termina Field. And I'm going to show you how I do that. I'm going to show only going to show it once. But then, uh, I'm just gonna get the rest of the rupees that, until I get 500 rupees. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how I get 5,000 rupees. Yeah, this little took, like, I mean, like a good hour or two. I mean, seriously. Okay. So I come over here, you see this big... Uh, Dodongo. Let's go attack it. And you get 50 rupees by killing this guy. I know, right? And you kill him by doing two jump attacks, and you get 50 rupees. Yeah, pretty awesome. And what you can do is you can kill that guy, small Dodongo, but you only get like 20 rupees or like 5 or 15 or whatever. But I'm j this, I just think this way is easier. Now, then you have to come up in here and kill these two Dodongos. Now, I know they're already at this, like, close to the beginning of my playthrough. But, uh, I'm going to show this off because I feel like it. Yeah. I know. So, yeah, I'm just going to... I just, I don't know, I just feel like showing you what I do to get all 5,000 rupees. I just keep on repeating this until I get enough rupees to get the heart piece. Okay, so uh, now the treasure chest appears. You might think that the uh, heart piece is going to be in there, but actually a recovery heart is going to just be in there. And I need that recovery heart because I just got hurt like the last time, or like the last couple times I did this. So yeah, you just like keep repeating this until you get like 500 rupees. So I'm going to meet you guys back after I've gotten 500 rupees. So yeah. Okay, so now I have all 500 rupees. So now what we're going to do is go to north or east or south or whatever. Look, town is the Matt, the rupee guy sell, selling or whatever. Yeah, West Coke Town, actually. <laughs> I need to remember that. Okay, now talk to this guy. Deposit rupees. Yeah, see, we have like 4,526 rupees. 500 more, and we get the heart piece. Epic. Okay, deposit 500 rupees. What's this? You've already saved up 5,000 rupees? Well, guy, I can't take any more deposits, so sorry, but th this is all I can give you. And with that, we got our third heart container. Oh yeah, baby! One more heart container to fill the another one of the bad boy. So now I'm gonna cut again and uh, look up what other heart pieces I can get. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back, and now this time, now we're gonna get the postman's hat. The reason why we're getting that mask is because we needed to get a, another heart piece. 
So, looks like we you have to we have to do you have to do like pretty much most of the cafe and Andrew side quest, and uh, at the final day you see this guy here, and we're gonna talk to him, and yada yada yada. And we have the yeah the mail thing, and you're supposed to now you have two choices. One you have you either have to give it to the uh, cafe's mother at uh, uh, the milk bar, which we already did that to, for the Cafe Andrew side quest, so we're not going to do that apparently. And the second second choice is to give this to the um, postman at his house. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give the, this letter thing to the postman. And I can't try to remember where the postman's uh, house is. So, yeah. Uh, wait, no, dang it. Uh, no, not the mayor's. This is just the mayor's house. Uh, obviously, that's not the uh, place. Okay. So now obviously we're gonna go over here. And here it is. Post office, office 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Huh. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to wait uh, a long time. So again, uh, wait, wait, what? Um, oh, huh. okay, so yeah, I'm gonna cut until I, until it's like, either 6 p.m. or 9, 9, well, not 6 p.m. or 9 p.m., so, uh, oh, wait, it's already 3 p.m., isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna just cut now, so, uh, see you guys back. Okay, so here we are at the Postman house, house at 6 p.m. So let's talk to this guy. Oh, I want to flee, but, but it's not written on the schedule. To, to me, the delivery schedule, it's the highest priority. Okay, so now what you want to do is give him this mail thing. This is a priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to follow the postman until he gets to the milk bar where uh, Cafe's mom is. So we're gonna wait, and, and it takes seriously it takes that and that long to get his hat on. And you do you really need to go into that thing to get and and close the curtains? Really, really, postman? It's not like you're taking off your clothes or anything. Okay, so now you yeah, you just want to follow the postman. You just do. Okay, so just waiting, just following him, just following him, just following him. Okay, and we're following him. Following him, we're following him. Oh yeah, we are following him. Okay, so now he goes to the milk bar. And you want to wait until the postman goes all the way over to where Cafe's mother is. And yeah, you just want to talk to him. We'll talk. I have a delivery for you, postman, mistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here. Dude, 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 tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But, but. Oh my. Well, what should we do? It's from Cafe. It's priority mail. I'm so happy. I do think something good would come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. Understood. Yes, now he's going to flee, so you can talk to him if you want her. Oh dear, are you alright with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for the town, you, d you know? You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge. All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too, far away. Uh, of course. So yeah, now we're just gonna wait until he uh gets out. And then 
Head out. No. We wait. Okay, so now I talk to him. I d decided to flee. It's, an, it's an order from the postmaster. I'm not free. You, I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'll let, I'll, I'll let you have it. And with that, we get the postman's hat! Huzzah! Yay! And look at him, like, fleeing, like, really happily. Haha! <laughs> He's going after bitter and be bigger and better things. Okay, so now, yeah, we need this hat. That's to get the, um, uh, a heart piece. I'm not sure how you get it, but I think you talked to this guy. You were doing a great job. A chain? Somewhere other than this letter has been deposited. And yes, it's another heart piece. Oh yeah, I have another heart container. Oh yeah, this is just awesome. We're doing so well on our side quest thingies. Okay, so now, off to uh, other heart piece stuff. So yeah, be right back.